And a thank you to Cody's Keiju Reviews for suggesting that I do a Michael Crichton version of the Dilophosaurus. So I'm going to paint up my dino rivals Fallen Kingdom Dilophosaurus. I really wish they would have kept the collector card motif going. Can I just say that? Now this Dilophosaurus is quite a bit better than the, uh, the base Mattel figure that they released for quite a few reasons. It still has the frills that are unattachable, which I'm just not that into, but it has jaw articulation. Ooh, a lot. A ridiculous amount of jaw articulation. Do all of them do that, or is mine just kind of broke a little bit? <laughs> cool. But, it's got a throwback action feature. Like the initial Keener Dilophosaurus, it will squirt water. After you have dumped your Dilophosaurus into a cup of liquid and pumped the stomach about three times, you should be good to go. Press its rubber little belly there. Oh, that doesn't really have much of a thing. Oh, you know what? I've seen reviews of this before. Apparently, it only really works upside down. <laughs> okay. Well, the thought was nice. It's still an awesome figure. The color looks a lot better in person than it does on video. I, I will say that I really like the modeling patterns on the back and everything, all of that. But I don't know how I feel about purple dinosaurs. I just... Let's turn this into a yellow spotted Crichton Dilo, shall we? First things first though, we gotta get this whitewash going. And I'm just building up the base coat here really slowly, which you want to do, especially if you're, you know, changing the color to something completely opposite, like purple and yellow. It just, uh, it gets you so much more coverage without, you know, painting over all those details with a thick heaping layer of, you know, primer. But yeah, so that's just the first little layer of white. Once it's completely stark, then I can start laying down other pigment in detail. And that's about as much coverage as you'll need. It's a really dark purple, so it still kind of shows. This is about five or six layers of thin white, but it's definitely enough coverage to start with what we need to. Um, and I always do the belly color first, and in this case it will be a light or a bright green. Here is what the underbelly is going to look like. And this is actually kind of a mix of a few different types of paint or different colors. Uh, I used a black light yellow, um, a little bit of a really bright green and kind of a duller, lighter green on top of that. Here's the top coat. Just kind of build up the darkness of yellow. I mix a little of that gold paint in with it on the back there. And now I'm just kind of playing with some Cheeto spots. Did I say Cheeto or Cheetah? Cheetah. Cheetah spots, which are just gold spots there outlined in dark brown. 
And here's the finished product. This actually might be my favorite Dilo I have painted. Right out the novel, yo. It looks really crazy head on. Let me get it out of here and show you. I absolutely love the color gradation. Completely unintentional, but it's totally a rainbow-faced Dilophosaurus. And I did green and purple for the frills because I thought it would contrast nicely with the body. And I'm just a big fan of that color combination anyway. Very Invader Zen. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time, bye.